What's up y'all, it's Star and I'm back with another video. So I have to tell you about some bullshit today. We have to get into some bullshit today, you guys, okay? So basically, I, okay, first of all, let's start off with the first piece of bullshit today. So I was at the gym. I did like a whole gym vibe today. I'll show you guys my body, period. No BBL on this one, okay. What the fuck am I doing? Okay, so basically, I went to the gym today, okay? And let me tell you something about me. So everywhere I fucking go, I get stared at. Like, everywhere I fucking go. Like, you can ask anyone that ever, like, goes in public with me. Like, it just is something that happens. And, like, I'm getting more used to it these days. Like, I'm kind of like, okay, like, y'all are staring at me because I'm, like, hot or what? Like, what is it? You know what I mean? Or, like... I don't know, I just, I, I always wonder like why people are always staring at me, but I'm just starting to like get used to it and just be like, okay, it's like just a thing that's gonna happen. So of course at the gym today, I was getting stared at so fucking much with my aunt. And like, I, I don't know why, like I would just turn behind me and there would be like a dude just like staring at us. It's like, what the fuck are you, like, what are you looking at? Like, why? Like, what is so entertaining about me that, like, everywhere I fucking go, I get stared at, all right? So that was this gym, like, of course, and I was starting to feel uncomfortable, so we had to, we had to go. We had to get out of there, because I just don't do that. Like, I don't, I don't like that. Like, why? Why me, bitch? If, if I went around staring at everybody, Bitch, there would be problems. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you don't just stare at people. Like, you're fucking psychotic. Like, it, you're sick, for one, and you're psychotic, for two, okay? Like, you're, there's something truly, there's, it's an illness. It's a mental illness to, like, stare at people. Like, don't you know that, bitch? Like, don't fucking stare at me. Like, stop. Like, what, what is so interesting about me that you have to stare? I literally looked normal today too. I wasn't like walking around wearing my drag queen wig. I wasn't like in a crazy ass outfit. Like I, I literally looked normal today. I was like, what, what's, anyway. So that was the whole gym moment. And so like that sucked. Um, and then um, later, which we just got back from um, TJ Maxx. And let me tell you something. TJ Maxx and Marshalls are like my happy place. Like I just love that because you could just like peruse around and there's like, you know, there's like purses, there's like clothes, there's like candles. And so of course I always go for the candles mostly, but like sometimes you can get like, like I got a hairbrush too, which is like really cute. I love this hairbrush. It's like really just like a tropical vibe and apparently it's like really good to use it on your hair, like when your hair's wet. Cause you're like not supposed to want, like brush your hair when it's wet, but like, I do, you know what I mean? So I had to get a new brush because my other one was like fucking ripping my hair out. Like, what the fuck are you doing? You're a hairbrush. Why are you ripping my hair out? Does that make sense? No, you're stupid. That It's a stupid hairbrush. It's a mentally ill hairbrush, let me tell you. And so I just had to get a new one. And I think that one was like maybe like, I don't know. I mean, it was an old hairbrush, but it's like, what the fuck? So I had to get a new hairbrush at um, TJ Maxx because plus I just wanted a pink one my old one was like a pastel like blue one which I'm not really feeling that vibe anymore it's just like not me it's like I don't want it I don't want blue I don't want red stop giving me blue and red and green and yellow I want pink bitch I don't want the other colors okay so let me tell you something about TJ Maxx bitch those motherfuckers in TJ Maxx will stare at you and they do not give a fuck. They do not care if you stare at them back. They will, those house moms, those housewives that go there, those soccer moms, bitch, that go there with their fake Michael Kors bags, they will stare at you and they don't give a fuck. So, bitch, of course me, I'm like staring right back. Like, what do you want, Carol? I'll slap your ass, bitch. I don't care. I'll slap the fuck out of you. Like, I don't care. So anyway, I keep staring at the bitch's back and then it comes to time for me to look at my lovely candle aisle. It's my aisle at this point, bitch. That aisle is for me. Like I literally eat that aisle up every time. Like every time I go, I'm like looking through the whole candle aisle and like smelling every one, bitch. I don't care if I look like crazy, like smelling every single candle. Like sometimes I don't know why, but okay, when I'm in the candle aisle, sometimes like I'll see a certain flavor 
and like I just need to smell it before I leave or else like I will drive myself crazy the rest of the day because I'll just be thinking like I should have smelled that candle like what if that was a really good candle and like I just left that candle like I, I'll just like keep thinking about it so I literally just have to like smell every single flavor that like I think I'll want you know what I mean um so yeah so I was in the candle aisle let me tell you something this fucking cunt she's a cunt i'm gonna tell you why let me tell you why like she's not i don't just call people that for no reason like you have to do something for me to like really be like you're a cunt you know what i mean but like she truly was a cunt because she came in the aisle she acted like she owned the aisle which bitch first of all i'm the wrong motherfucking one to be in the candle aisle with you and for you to think you own the aisle Bitch, this is my territory this is my aisle like what are you doing here like you're basically on my property bitch and so she fucking storms her ass into the aisle and i'm like whoa i'm a little like taken back and so i'm just let me act it out for you so i'm just like sniffing my candle right and then this bitch just storms in the aisle and i'm like whoa like you know what i mean so the stupid bitch comes like right by me like right behind me and like i let me tell you something i fucking hate when people do this they will like stand like right by you and like look at the things that you're looking at and like just kind of like wait for you to like like move or something and it's like if i'm smelling candles bitch i'm not moving no bitch you can go to a different aisle i i'm pretty sure there's two aisles there's two candy aisles i mean candle aisles at tj maxx so what the fuck are you doing here? What the fuck are you doing here, bitch? Right behind me. What are you doing? Stop. Like, get away from... I was just like, what the fuck are you doing? She did that. Like, she was, like, literally right behind me. And she, like, wanted me to move. And I was just, like, sniffing my candles as if she didn't exist. I was like, mmm, that's a good one. Put it back. Pick another one. Mmm, that's really good. You know what I mean? Like, I was just, like, not phased at all. But, like, mentally I was. Because I was like, bitch, if you fucking tell me to move, I'm going to lose it on you. Like, I will... My breakdown? My breakdown. My breakdown. Like, it will happen if you tell me to move right now, bitch. Like, I'm not going to do it. Let me tell you something. I'm not going to do it. I was, like, waiting for her to say it just so I can be like, mm, no, I'm actually, like, right here sniffing candles. Like, you can, you can move. You can move around. You know what I mean? Like that's the thing it was like a bit it's a big ass aisle you guys at tj maxx and this bitch was right here and i'm just like what the fuck are you <sighs> and she was like a blonde bitch with like fried ass hair like you could tell that bitch has been going to the salon for like 10 years getting the same exact fried ass bleached hair color don't don't come behind me in the candle aisle like stop what are you doing like anyway so look at this one this one's a sweet maple you guys know I love my candles, so this one's really good. Mm, it's almost like a butterscotch, almost. Um, and the reason why I really wanted to get candles is because I really wanted to get, like, a pumpkin-type vibe one. And I think I did. Yeah, I got this one. But, like, any of the other pumpkins... Okay, also, you guys know my dilemma, which is I hate the color red. I hate the color orange. You guys know this. Like, I don't do it, like, right? And I also hate yellow, but like this one smells really good. So it's like, okay, you know what I mean? But orange candles, I just can't do. So <laughs> of course all the pumpkin candles are like orange and I'm like, I just can't do it. Like, I'm sorry. But this one is so good. It's called white pumpkin. Uh, and the color, like, come on. Like imagine this on my dresser over here. Like so cute, such a moment. Like I love it. Mm, it smells like almost like vanilla like coconut like pumpkin so good and i just when i saw the color i was like i just have to do it so that's i got those two candles and then look at this you guys look how big this plushie is <laughs> it's like literally the whole frame look at this it's so cute and let me tell you guys it is like the softest most like I, I can't explain it like I've never had a plushie like this where it's like so just like soft and like comfortable and like literally feels like a pillow that you would like sleep on and like I just it's so huge and just like amazing like can you imagine on my bed just like a huge ass like unicorn plushie 
like ah as soon as i saw this i was like i am getting it i'm not even looking at the price tag bitch actually i didn't look at the price tag for any of these things like i've literally just been like buying things without looking like is that smart not really but like you know what i mean like i do it for my own happiness <laughs> so it's like worth it like ah can you just can you can we all just like look at her for a second we need to think of a name for her actually she's so she's a queen she's a girl boss and she is the moment now come on now Ooh, okay it's called a squish mallow or something squish mallow so cute i already have like so many plushies you can't see it but i have so many <laughs> like ugh, it's ridiculous but anyway i had to tell you about those two situations today because i don't know i just don't like getting stared at by old ass men when i'm at the gym like that's just not what i am there for like i'm just trying to work out and get the hell out like i'm not trying to like do a whole thing and like have all these people staring at me like it's just not cute and like i don't stare at people at the gym like if you stare at people at the gym i'm telling you right now there's something wrong with you there's something wrong with you like literally so yeah i i just had a day but it was a good day because i got like candles and shit but the gym vibe was like weird i just when i walk in a room i could just tell the vibes are off i was like whoa what is this like there's a lot of people here like and that's the other thing it's like why like why is everyone there on a friday going to the gym like what are you doing don't you have work to do don't you have a job like go to your like what are you doing like i don't know it's just like so much <sighs> but yeah so i went to tj maxx and i went to the gym i feel accomplished today um yeah i don't know i was also thinking of getting a bigger version of this purse it's like stuck on my ps4 <laughs> um i was thinking of getting a bigger version of this purse and also i was thinking of taking these big ass straps off because i think it would be so cute to just like carry this around like can we just imagine like as like a little like clutch almost because it would be so tiny i don't know but yeah also at tj maxx um they have a bunch of Michael Kors shit. Like they have like big ones, like big ones. And so I was thinking of doing that. I don't know if I want to get a Michael Kors big one or like, you know, like a Louis Vuitton, like never full moment. That would be the moment. Like that would be iconic. I just spilled water all over myself. That's cute. Okay. So yeah, that's basically it for today. I just need to get on here and rant because I I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry, the bitch at TJ Maxx like just pissed me off so much because I'm like, why are you just standing here? You look dumb. You're like, like waiting for me to move. Bitch, I'm not gonna move. I'm not gonna move for you, honey. No, you can wait or you can move. And that's what she did. She went to a different aisle because I wasn't moving. I'm not going to move. And also it's like, if you really wanted me to move, use your words, bitch. Do you think I know, like, do you think I can read your mind, babe? Do you think I can read your mind, Carol? No, I can't read your mind. Like, it's always at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. That's where bitches want to try me. And of course, when I got called, Cause like they have like a line of cash registers and you like wait in like this like swirly line kind of and um it's all like automatic so like if like once one of the people is done like checking out it'll like say like cash register number six is open or something like that um in like a s robot voice <laughs> and so as i was like walking and you have to walk like a long ass way i'm telling you like this is like a almost like a model like runway type moment for me because i was like okay this is my moment and i was like walking i was like stunning as hell as always and then i look over to my left and i see a row of bitches staring at me and i'm just like why like why does this always happen to me every i'm telling you everywhere i go it happens i don't know why and at some points it's like okay is this transphobia or is this just like literally people being a cunt and like staring at me and i think that's what it is like it's literally just people staring at me for no reason because like they had zero reason to stare at me like i was just walking with my cart like over to the cash register like what is so interesting about that like when i was in virginia wait virginia yeah it was virginia when i was in virginia i was at this like water park and of course you're in this like huge like long like curvy line um 
literally everyone was fucking staring at me like my sisters were literally like turning to me and being like why is people staring at you like this is weird like and i'm like every fucking time like every time i go in public i don't know why i don't know what it is like even when i'm wearing a wig and like all that shit like i'm still getting stared out so that's why recently i've just been going out with like my real hair and everything because i'm like bitch i get stared at either way so it's not really like a problem it's more just like <laughs> the level of stairs so i think when i go out like this i get stared at even more but it's like i don't give a fuck i have to be able to go out and live my life like everyone else so i don't give a fuck like i just i just have to get used to it and also people have to get used to me bitch because i'm gonna be around going to tj maxx and everything so anyway i just need to get that out to the world because oh also <laughs> you're gonna be getting a lot more videos like this because um i'm only gonna be meeting with my therapist every other week now so you guys are gonna be getting a lot more rants because <laughs> i'm only going to her every other week now instead of every week like i was so you will be hearing a lot more rants so get used to that <laughs> um but yeah i don't know if you guys like these or not i don't know because i i'm gonna have to do them either way like i just i have to like rant so yeah, um, what the f what the fuck is happening with this water bottle? I'm telling you right now. Okay, I think I just didn't screw it all the way. This was from Five Below. If you guys saw my Five Below haul, you know what the tea is with this water bottle already. I don't even want to explain it to you, but if you just look at it and see the colors, you will know exactly why I kind of hate this fucking water bottle. Okay, and also it doesn't even screw and it doesn't keep my water cold. I literally just use it because it's kind of pink But we all know I hate red. So that's why I hate this water bottle, but whatever. Anyway, I'm done I love you guys so much and have a good day. Bye guys